This, this meta, by the way, is very quickly becoming uh, no card, no launch pad guarantee. Uh, you can't refresh the launch pad. You need to use your own mats. That's what it's becoming. And so it's becoming very, very much like hand to hand combat. Uh, you have to literally fight people box fight and, and get mats from them. You can't steal launch pads. You shouldn't try because launch pads are getting less and less prevalent as the meta pro progresses. Um, and because cards don't exist, uh, you have to understand something. People are not surviving as long in endgame because because cars don't exist, they're getting tagged up in first and second, they're losing their heals. And because that happens, um, not only is surge a little bit lower, but most importantly, uh, people are not just making it past like like third moving, no problem. Less pads and less uh, mats in general in endgame. Uh, and because that's the case, you should feel more relieved now to just spend your own because a lot of the people are going to die naturally by like end of second moving. I, whereas before that's not the case because literally everyone padded before and it was yeah. so prevalent so the meta changing is very important okay there's oh, a yeah, lot I'm... of mats used here a lot wow yeah, I, okay we both, we both landed in like different places for some reason yes so okay here's a question who hit the pad first for sure zipper okay so now he's the leader so in other words who's the follower who's the leader yeah um, i should be the follower yeah exactly and so that's a bigger that's a, like a common misconception that a lot of people have it's like oh uh it's not about the order of who hits the pad it's the igl is the leader so he picks that's not true both of you guys the picking is a very easy task both of you guys should be able to do it um and so igl literally has nothing to do with that and first of all i mean igl should not be as strict in, in duos as most people believe um but regardless uh whoever is hitting the pad first should be able to pick now if you feel like one of you guys can't pick like it's really difficult and like the other guy makes the high quality decision all the time that just have him hit the pad first that's the better like a fix it's kind of like a band-aid fix but i think the best way to do it is just have both of you guys capable which i think you guys are uh and just have both of you guys able to pick and just choose who picks based on who hits the pad first the other guy's literally just copycats that's it oh we're not me oh, i don't know we're gonna do it at the same time Oh, but he, oh, no, he ends up, yeah, he ends up hitting it first. So oh, now no. what you need to do, look for him. He lands deeper. Yeah, he was asking me like where, where to land the chip. He's asking you. Yeah. Yeah, he's asking there's a problem. He should not ask you, right? He should yeah. be like, we're landing here. We're literally landing right here. This box right here, or this box right here. Yeah, that, that held. That's in zone. It's just... Anywhere, bro. I don't see. Let me tell you something. Uh, there's three decisions, okay? Like landing here, here, or here. The worst thing you could do is uh, say, I don't know where, right? I actually think it's okay if you pick the worst decision. Because there's an option that's worse than that, which is hesitation, right? Which yeah. is exactly what happened here. So, so, like, the reason why he's asking you is because he's scared he's going to make the wrong move. Does that make sense? Like he's like he's worried like oh my god like I, I might actually mess this up i might actually like end up killing us like i'm i'm worried but what's very important in fncs in any competition in general like, like let, let's let's forget about fortnite for a second in any sport in any esport in general valor anything okay where it's fast paced where it's not chess which it's not the fortnite's not chess it's very fast paced Hesitation is the number one thing that's going to kill you. Imagine in moving zones, you hesitate for 10 seconds. You're dead. You lose, yeah. right? And so the same thing here. You cannot hesitate. It's so much better to be on the same page and actually just pick any spot uh, and not overthink it uh, rather than, you know, oh, like, where's the number one spot? I can't really think of it right now, so I'm just going to hover. And so especially in a situation where you're gliding, I, I, I've learned this over the years because I always I was the type of person who's like I must find the most optimal decision every single time and that is exactly why I sucked right but then I, I changed my mindset I was like okay yeah like clearly it's not working uh Fortnite is not chess it's not all theoretical what's more important is can I get my teammates on the same page and here's the best part yeah I'll tell you a little secret about IGLing because you know in this specific case uh, Zwipper is supposed to IGL for like a split second or whatever and he's supposed to pick the spot right uh secret about IGLing is your teammate doesn't know any better so if you confidently say we're landing here he's not going to judge you for making a bad decision because honestly he doesn't know either right it's too fast like he can't tell even if you're like a like insane smart player you can't tell so you just need to you need to be confident in your call you need to understand that it ultimately doesn't matter what's more important than where you're landing is actually are you and your teammate doing it uh, together 
Now, obviously, you don't want to make an atrocious decision. I'm not saying, like, if you see my mouse, that like, you should go land, like, in this tile right here next to this box and just stay there. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying there's six different possible good enough spots here. You just chose none of them. And so that causes the split. That causes you to lose, quite literally, by the way, like 500 mats and all of it being metal. Um, and, and so the game's screwed here. Now, yeah. I don't think this is what killed you. I don't think you were zero builds when you when you died. So yes, we're gonna look into the different layers of decisions. But if you didn't die here, the game's already chalked. Like it's kind of hard now because of the yeah. same concept that I used to talk about before. Remember this graph? I'm gonna draw it a little bit here. Um, let's go ahead. Let's say uh, graph oh, right here, that. right? 50-50 and the first moving, second, fourth, or third rather. Uh, and this is average mats, okay? This is where I want you to be. I want you to be red. If you make a mistake yeah. here and this is you, right? It's not good because when you need mats, no one else needs needs mats, and they're not gonna handshake a fight with you, right? This is why this this mistake here, where you use 500 mats here, is, is relevant because even if you didn't make the mistake that got you killed, you're gonna go on to the end game and not find an impact because no one else wants to find an impact because they still have mats. They're still good. So because that's the case, I think it's very important that we highlight this mistake as well, not just how you died. Yeah. But like I said, it is important to be decisive and not hesitate, right? Let's say there's an option of six, seven different decisions. Pick any one of them. It does not actually matter what you pick. Uh, and this is why if you ask a lot of pros about theory, they have no idea what they're talking about. Because ultimately, to be a professional player, you have to be insane at execution. That's it, yeah. right? It's not about, it's, you're not reading books here. You know, it's not chess, it's not theory. Uh, that's what analysts and coaches like me will do, right? That, like, I'll take care of that. And I'll, I'll try to improve the, the, the quality of your decisions. But ultimately you can make the third best decision and win FNCS, I believe it. The zone pulls, not that bad. It pulls uh, south here. You guys see a pad, you have splashes, which is very good for using in duo pad steals. That's good. You guys do a good job of uh, having one person splash and both of you guys running one person editing. Good. You guys should not land left side, I think. I think you should land right side. The same concept of closing and expanding side that I used to talk about. In this specific yeah, case, yeah. this wall is actually not expanding, but it is staying in place. Yeah. How do I know that? You can line it up on the minimap, right? See this side of the wall? Lines up right here. So therefore, uh, think of it as like, this is the starting point. This is the end point. So they're not moving. They're all in line. So yeah. you can stay here and this is going to be in zone. You can just go straight line. Whereas on this side of the map, it's, it's closing. closing yeah. yeah, exactly. And so if I land here, now I'm forced to go diagonal. So if, if someone else wants to land here, I'm screwed. They're, they're going to make a tunnel and they're going to block me out. So screw that. Let's land right side. It's also more elevated. There's more builds. So it's going to be nice to get a mid ground layer that way. I don't think you should take yeah. low ground here. It also goes uh, up at the very end, if you notice right here. So yeah. We want to be mid ground. A little bit server lag, but I think you guys... Okay, uh, we don't land together again. So who should pick here? Let's f let's figure this out. Go back. Yeah, you should because you you hit the pad first exactly. Um, yeah. So you should pick. Let's watch the zipper's POV and see if it was confusing, if it was hard to follow you. Uh, let's let's see where the mistake is here. Guys, take the pad. Good. He's following you. He's also. It's very important to do. Um, Whoever's following should not dive too deep because notice something. If you dive early, you're committed. You can't go back up after you dived, right? So what's very important, there's a leader and a follower. The leader is who took the pad first. The leader can dictate what, what elevation they're going to glide at, right? And the follower yeah. just needs to be slightly higher or a little bit higher. And maybe a good enough margin so you have time to react. Uh, then the leader. And what's very important, the leader should pick quickly. Where are we going to land? Ping it, calm it. I'm gonna land here and pick it. The worst thing you could do is, like I said before, uh, like take up like a lot of time because by the time you like come over here, you're like, oh, I'm gonna land here. It's too late. You're not giving you enough time to your partner for, to react to you, right? Yeah, we do that a lot when it's like, I, I'm always like landed already. When it's like marking where to land. When yeah. it's like, can yeah, Exactly, exactly. That, and so it's a team thing. I feel like uh, yeah. if, if you do that, then it's not it's not a specific person's fault. I mean, I, I would argue it's Shexi's fault here in that case, right? You need to pick fast. I, if I'm gliding here, I just be like, okay, we're landing here, done. Or like just landing here, done. Again, not one is better than the other. Maybe maybe it is, but it doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. Can you land together? Because that's going to save way more mats for you than anything else. I wish there wasn't this server lag here, but unfortunately we do have this server lag. And yeah, it does seem like right here, right? It does seem like you missed it.
Why? Because you called it too late. Or you, or yeah, you, I, right? no, I think I comes a fan. I'm pretty sure this game, I just blocked them off for that wall. Instead of like building mm. out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, or, that, or that's a, watch stuff. I wish I could watch it because the, the server, but unfortunately you can't. But I, I, I believe it, yeah. I, I can't I remember if it was this one. Uh, I wish I could go and create it right now, but the, what, you, what you should do, by the way, is when you land, you spam floors first before you, yeah, yeah. you. This is a good I one. But you yeah, should do I need it on the back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You spam a two by two in floors, so he has a landing platform, and then you build your box. And uh, yeah. I think 99% of people don't do this, and I think it's wrong. I, it's only two extra builds, you know what I mean? Like, it's very cost efficient. It's a yeah. lot of value for what you end up doing. So let's, like, you see how many maps we actually end up using to get back? It's honestly not that much, but I, I think the danger is also a bigger factor. Uh, of getting picked off while you're alone. Time as well. The mats are... Uh, mats are chopped. Like, they should not be this low at this point. But again, I, I still think you died for a different reason. Yeah. This is a little sketch. Uh, I do believe you should what? change layers. Oh, you're yeah. stealing a tarp. Okay, cool. This is fine then. If you're, if you're gonna take the time to go into a tarp, which I agree with, by the way. I actually like this. Um, then it's fine. Okay, you notice you dropped. Good. Lovely play. This is a good layer. You can see very clearly that it's empty. Using wood first, because you're fast tarping. You still have wood, so you should just burn it. Um, yeah. But it's, it's only 8 builds, it's whatever. I'm coming too nitpicky here. So in pulls, it pulls backwards and out to the side, so you're going to have to run through a lot of old builds. But you can just use yeah. your tarp for now. I wanted to wrap around right side, for sure. I can't remember if it did, though. Uh, okay. And then... Unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> open a right hand and the guy just... But yeah, explain like, it to uh, me, because obviously I missed it, because the server like, Fortnite sucks. You made, you made a video about this pig, actually, but I didn't realize I was doing it at the time. Because mm -hmm. like, I game stuff, where like, um, I'm like on the peanut butter, and yep. he just holds like, the right angle on the wall. Yes, 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 yes. If you know what I, mean. I understand. Yeah. Uh, and he just maxed me in It's me, pretty sure. complex, I don't think you should worry about it too much, but... um, Yeah. Let's think about this. I do believe you made the right decision to go around, by the way. I think going back through your old tarp is a recipe for disaster. Uh, because you're, you're on closing side. You have to go through old builds. And ultimately, a lot of people are going to make the, the same decision. You go on dead side and go that way. Which is, I, I like your play. I think it's good. Um, I think something micro happened here. Like, I feel like there's no reason why you should lose this fight. I, I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to freeze up again. I know how we plays end up working, right? So, yo. Yeah. We're both one. We're both did, one did they seven. notice? Is that what happened? Did they end up noticing you yeah. guys breaking the wall? I like, I like maxed the kid. I hit him like 120 and the guy just maxed me for sure. Or you like 200 zero me with SMG. Yes. But maybe, maybe, did you jump in? Did you edit jump in or what? No, nah, I, um, I was like stood where I am and they were stood where they were, but they can like see me even if I'm like mm. holding max angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you should step back here ideally, but that's hard to do because yeah. you can't edit when you do that. But, anyways. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I really wish I could watch the execution. I can't comment too much about this because I feel like there's something wrong with the micro, the execution of it. Um, yeah. I, I, let, let, let me put it this way. Let's say you had 10 builds. Uh, this is obviously the right decision now, right? Yeah. So then, what, we're we just going to get the same outcome? Like, no, that's not acceptable, right? So clearly it's something to do with my execution. It has to be. Because I, like, I feel like this is a fair fight. Like, this is good. They're also back to you right now. This guy notices because he's looking backwards and then yeah. they probably double spray. But I think, I think what you should do just take the is brick you... wall, maybe? No, no, I think this is fine. Because if you take the brick wall, this side edits on, on Zwipper and kills you, so it's bad. But yeah. this is this is the right wall to take, for sure. Um, So you edit this, and then you guys oh. need to just do the common right-hand pink concept. Like, you should not stand here. You should not stand, like, a little bit further in, obviously. I think you should stand back. Go back here. Now you see them, they don't see you. Right? Because if you yeah. ask yourself, what's the pivot point? It's whatever edit you made. If further back you're from the pivot point, the more you can see them, they can't see you. So um, that's what you should do, right-hand pink-wise. Uh, and you should just copy. And then once you get HP advantage by spraying at them from this angle where they can't see you, uh, where the camera is, and then you can jump yeah. in after the fact, right? You can, you can. I'm pretty sure you can see that though, can't you? Uh, because he, he can just hold right on the the wall like where they're standing. I think if you're standing here, no, he can't see that. Because I'll tell you why. Let's say you make the peanut butter, right? You make the peanut butter. Where's the Where's the pivot? Where's the corner of the angle? It's this. Agreed. Yeah. Where's where so let's say let's from. say best case scenario, he's standing in this corner. How many tiles is that away from the the corner? One. Okay, so where's one for you? It's this. People think it's this. It's not. It's this because this is the corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. So if you're standing anywhere here, you see them. They can't see you. You have to hug the wall, though. Case. You do have to hug the wall. This is the equivalent corner. So if you're standing back here, you're good. They cannot see you. Okay. We can also have to top row. 
Uh, he can do top row. He can do any edit here because ultimately this is the corner they're right handing. I mean, like if you do a jump peek, they can't see you. You get first shot, you get HP advantage in VSK. A jump peek? Do you think a jump peek is necessary? Uh, I don't think Just so. Just not like we both. If you do top row here, we can both like shoot him at the same time. We get HP advantage and we both can clean. Yes. I, I think I could have just closed the edit when I saw they were like shooting back. That is another another solution. Yeah, I think you could close the edit if they see if they see you. I think this is the simplest one. This is what I would have done. I think I would have edited the peanut butter. It's good. I'll tell you why it's good. They can't break it. That's why it's good. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want them to be able to replace the wall, and then your whole play is gone. And then they can just drop three layers. You don't want to follow them because they drop three layers, and your whole impact's fucked. So I think the best thing you can do is edit, and then just stand here, and then just spray. Once you spray, it's like literally hundred damage. Uh, and then it's good. You do you do understand the, the pivot though, right? Like you do un, you do agree with me that standing here yeah, makes it yeah. so they can't literally they can't hit you. But, yeah. Uh, that's all you have to do. And th that's the best part about that is that since it's so solid fundamentally to Fortnite, you don't need your teammate to do this. You can actually one v two. Your teammate can yeah. be an, an accessory. You can he can help you like a little bit. But like because uh, because you understand Fortnite or, or you should you, standing here, uh, it does not require teammates, so it's like less. Um, uh, less teamwork required like you can literally just run this play yourself and because it's like able to be done solo you can just do it faster there's no there's less coordination required so it's nice that way um but yeah i think there's other options there's top row but whatever micro is very uh uh how do i say instinctual it's very like in the moment so i think in the yeah. moment you have to perform better yes. and this is the hard part about endgame uh, it's so difficult to do something in a fraction of a second correctly and this is where I would say uh, it matters a lot what you do. In terms of like the macro, in terms of teamwork, I don't think it matters. I think it matters that you're together. But in this specific case, when it comes to micro, I think it's so, so important, the little details of what you do. I think the yeah. smallest little detail going wrong in this case is enough to kill you. And maybe that's what happened. Unfortunately, we can't we can't see it. But uh, lessons learned, the biggest lesson about this is launch pad. Because if you fix the launch pad situation and it happened twice, then you have you you would feel very comfortable in the situation because then you'd be following the graph where you were on top you this would be you right and then you'd be chilling you, you wouldn't feel the pressure to go for that kill you'd still have 1.2k mats total but yeah, and, and, and that's in that case you had 700 so it's like really awkward you feel i i, I agree that you should go for that impact i think it's actually good